Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this amazing creative photo manipulation technique using Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to create this step by step with no steps skipped. Remember also to visit my YouTube channel and then subscribe and then join this amazing community. There's a lot coming up next year. I'm preparing amazing videos so you can afford to be out of this community. Subscribe and then join us as we work towards amazing content there's a lot we'll be learning next year so let's work towards that subscribe and stay alert turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos so let's jump into action and see how we can create this amazing photo manipulation technique using photoshop in this case we're going to need two images so you can do that by going ahead and then download that from google so these are the two images i'm going to use so i'm going to drag the first one here i got my images from google so this is my first image and then this is my second image okay so you need to create a background for this so what i need to do is to go ahead and go to file go to new yeah. and then from the new documents window i'm going to set my width and then height five inches each and then my resolution is going to be 300 and i'll click on create mm -hmm. now this is the main background we're going to work with this is going to be our canvas and for this if you want to remove the background of this image you can easily use this website or remove.bg this site will help you remove and then you can download this image and then follow along you can do the same for the hand at well. you can do the same for this so we need to drag this image on top of our new canvas so you can just enlarge this so go ahead and then just enlarge this image now let's confirm this and now we are going to add the second image that's the hand so before we do that i just want to crop this image a bit so i'll go to my tools and pick the crop and then crop part of this image and then just click on the check icon here to confirm this now you can use the magic wand tool to remove the background but before that make sure you remove the lock from the layer so double click and then click on okay in order to remove the lock from there and i'm going to use the magic one to click on the background since it's white background it's going to select the background and then press delete on your keyboard and it's going to delete the background you can press ctrl d to deselect this and then now we can use the first tool, which is the move tool and then drag it and then add it to the second image that we have over here we can actually zoom in on this whilst we work then we can see exactly what we are doing to get a perfect work i'm going to collapse my layer panel for now and then now we can actually go ahead and rotate this image you can just rotate it like this okay so we rotate this this is actually exactly what we want so let's compare it to our finished work this is what we want to do so if you check from here the thumb need to go up so you can select this and just go to edit then we go to what uh, free transform and it's going to select this when you right click you can now what uh, flip this vertical so if you flip this the hand is going to turn outside down and then you can keep enlarging this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the hand behind the head so go to your layer panel and then just drag it and drop it below the head this way okay so we want to see the hand through the head in that case we're going to reduce the opacity for the head so select the head and then reduce the opacity in that case we can see the hand through the head Okay, so I'm going to enlarge this. So I'm going to enlarge it to a shape which I'm actually comfortable with. Okay, so I think I'm comfortable with this now. And then from here, you can actually bring the opacity of the head back towards 100%. Now, what we do next is to pick our brush tool. So you go to your tool and then you pick your brush tool. And then you can do the adjustment from the top here the size you can use a square bracket on your keyboard to either increase or reduce the size of your brush and then you can start clicking now make sure the full background color is white so you set the full background to white in order to conceal this or hide parts of the hand just as i'm doing okay but you can see it's affecting what the head so before we do this make sure you apply layer marks towards the hand so select the hand and then come down here and then just click on layer marks now if i start clicking again you can see if i click on the head of 
the image is actually not going to affect that okay so that is what i want to do i hold the space bar to get a hand to to reposition this now we want to do the same thing to the head so select the head and then you can start painting but in this case so in this case we're actually going to paint the head now to reveal the hand so make sure you select this and then also expose the so make sure you select this and then apply layer marks to the head as well so select that and click on layer marks and now we can start painting so you can see it's actually going to reveal the hand now so in this case we just have to take time in order to do this you can just position your brush and then keep brushing on this okay so just keep brushing on this if you mess up something you can just do that so in this case we can just go ahead and then just paint on top of this with our brush okay until we get something comfortable we can keep on reducing this until we actually get something comfortable so this is just a creative photo manipulating technique we can use this to manipulate any photo at all we want we are trying to merge these two together like subscribe for more photoshop techniques and tricks there's a lot adobe dimension there's a lot going to come up next year and then you can't afford to miss that okay so just zoom in in order to get everything well done so i'm just going to play with this actually going to play with this anywhere i want to use my brush to or just i can easily control the size of my brush in order to get this wall aligned okay so i can just undo this and then i want need to what zoom out and this and you can see what i've done so far okay you can easily play with this and then make sure everything is well positioned now what i want to do next is i can select the two layers so these are two different layers right click and then i'll convert this into a smart object click and convert this to smart object now is what one image i'm going to zoom out for you to see now we have one image and what we can do is we can actually enlarge or reduce the size now after we get one image we can just go ahead and then uh, change the colors okay you can easily manipulate the colors so i can go to select the layer then go to Filt and I go to camera raw filter. So I'll just select that from here. Just wait for some time and this is going to load and we can play with the colors. So this is what we have. We can actually increase the temperature of this. Just play with the colors. Can give some exposure. We have some vibrance here. You can just play with the colors until maybe you're comfortable with what exactly we want. And I click on OK. So you can play with it until you get the color you want. So you can see what we just did this is just an amazing photo manipulation technique or creative photo manipulation technique using adobe photoshop there's more tricks more techniques coming up in 2023 and you can't afford to miss that subscribe like and comment as well and share this video with friends till i come away again bye bye and happy new year in advance